Hey folks, Blackcross here, and welcome back to the PlayStation 2 Legacy, where we take a look at the vast library game that's available for the PlayStation 2. And today we are finally looking into Superman Shadow of Apocalypse. Now, just to clarify, I am not a Superman fan. In fact, in terms of DC, it's mostly Batman. But I did promise a friend of mine that I would play this for the channel and everything. So I was like, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and play it, you know? The Superman 64 has been shit on multiple times over and over and over. So I think it's time we try to find at least one good Superman game. And if this ends up being good, we found it. <laughs> How do you like that, Superman? <laughs> Not even faced. Like this, Metallo? It's an improvement. Is that the best you've got? I can always do better. Obviously, this is coming from the uh, animated TV series that was released back in like the 90s and stuff, alongside the Batman animated series. That was the final moment of the dramatic still it looks battle good. last night between the Man of Steel and the cyborg criminal Metallo. A day in the life. Obviously, this is the tutorial, so we're gonna find out how to fight a Superman, fly a Superman, possibly even run. What is it like? Faster than a speeding bullet. Uh, more powerful than a locomotive. Leap the tallest buildings. Boom! Is Superman has a number of ways to navigate Metropolis. Why not try flying, hovering and running on the ground? To take off, either push up on the right analog stick to hover, press, and hold R2. I'm sorry, what? Okay, interesting. Okay, this this isn't too awful bad. Although it's weird to see me playing an open world game on a PlayStation 2. I mean, obviously, yes, Grand Theft Auto does it and everything like that, but I've never played Grand Theft Auto, so I have no idea how to expect something like this. Flying around isn't bad, though. Okay, interesting. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I did not know that there was a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll! Oh, I got, I, I, I got stopped by a light post. Wait, are already gonna have to fight a helicopter? Whoa! Locate the traffic accident, okay? Just now learning the controls and we're already jumping into it. Okay, so, um, okay, there we go. So, how do I, uh, fix this? Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's simple enough. My first priority is to save these people. I'm, I'm right, I'm, I'm right in front of it. I'm pressing the X button. Um... Like I said, I'm right next to it. Okay. Pick up the bus by pressing and Oh, press and hold. Okay, I get ya. My bad, I was... Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! <laughs> okay, easy, Superman. 
Easy. No need to, uh... Okay. Whew. That was a little bit worrisome right there. Blow the fire out. Hang on. What? Uh, is it bad that I don't know all of Superman's powers? Like, I know that he can fly, he's super strong and all that stuff, but I didn't know that he's like, what, Ice Breath or something? Maybe I'm wrong? Okay, that was relatively easy. Now I guess we gotta take out the helicopter. Find and disable the getaway chopper. The way that it's maneuvering, something tells me Superman's probably gonna get his hand chopped off or something. I need to stop this madness. Unless he's just able to stop the blade and just go KRK! <laughs> okay. Oh, we can speed fly. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, where did, where did where did it go? Come on, get over here, you stupid copter. Now where did it go? There it is. I think there it is, I see the blades. There it is. I was wondering where it went. Okay. This guy is getting on my nerves. Okay, we really gotta perfect our flying. Come on. We have not even hit it once at all. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, how are we supposed to stop this guy it? Is getting on my nerves. Okay, we hit it. But we didn't do anything. Okay, I can fight it in the air if I can even remotely get to it. Okay, come on now. Why, why, why is this thing fighting me? There we go. Every once in a while, it'll just stay down. Okay, that was easy. Finally. Once I figured out what I need to do and how to do it, it finally... Wait a second. It... It's still going? It's still freaking going?! Your HP is gone! Okay. There we go. You got me, Superman. I can't let this guy get away. I've got to take him to the police station. Okay, so what do we do here? I'll come quietly. Take the robber to the police station. So what, we pick him up? Yep, just like the bus. <laughs> you know, what would have just happened if I just dropped him? Would it be game over? Because of the immorals of Superman? <laughs> there we go. So judging by the tutorial level alone, the buttons are a little bit hard to figure up. Because it is weird of how it does it. It tells you to hold the X button. But you don't actually have to hold it for very long. You can hold it for a while and I assume it will keep it stagnant. Especially if you're flying around. If you're flying around... Then the game's like, oh, well, there's no need for you to hold both buttons at the same time. 
I, I guess. I don't know. Flying, though, is a little bit tricky. I will say that much. Flying's a little bit tricky. A little bit disoriented, but I think we can manage. I think, anyway. Superman, it looks like Inner Gang is back. We've got reports of several officers under fire at Mannheim Warehouse. I thought we'd put an end to Inner Gang last time, Maggie. So did I. We're mobilizing a squad now. Okay, I can get there quicker. I'll see what's going on. Oh, okay. You know, those boxes are a lot stronger if they're shooting them. It's a robot of some sort. At least I won't need to pull my punches. Now we get into combat, right? Where we fight the robot, cyborg, whatever they are. Combat's easy enough. Thanks, Superman, thanks. Wait, why do I need to pick up a crate? Oh, okay. Cover. Did they just get dissipated? What the? Come back here. <laughs> the Kryptonian is here. Set weapons to maximum power and destroy them. I know. Hold the X button and throw in, right? <laughs> uh, so far this isn't bad. But, uh... It, it, it can use some work, I think. I mean, yes, yeah, Superman's supposed to be strong and almost invincible. And of course, he's supposed to be able to endure bullets shooting at him and stuff like that. But it's like, try using a bat? I need to stop this mad. Oh, fast. by bat, you're referring to uh, a freaking pipe. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's very really good. I ain't gonna lie, that's good. <laughs> this is a freaking winged baseball bat, or in this case, a freaking pipe. <laughs> Where are they all coming from? Okay, hidden. Okay. Okay, so we use R two. I'd better check that out. Okay, so it's like was in the media area. Aha! So this is where they're coming from. Now I guess we gotta destroy this device, or is it all? Oh, okay. That was close. Sorry, des what are they destroyed. To to okay. Hide? Heat vision. Ah, here we go. Ah, gotcha. Same difference, except. <laughs> that was easy. They could take some. That should even things up a little. Even things up? Superman, I don't think you have to worry about numbers. There could be a hundred of them, and I think you could probably handle it. See? I mean, look at him! He's just standing right above them, and freaking able to just... endure it. I did that just a while ago, so... <laughs> Super ground pound! See what I mean? 
I guess what it is, the reason why we don't see many Superman games, is that you have to make certain that Superman is Superman. And that is the question. It's like, how do you make a super... It's sort of like the whole One Punch Man thing. Where it's like, okay, yeah, we can make a Superman game. But how do you... Wait. <laughs> what the flip? <laughs> what the frick? Okay, that, that that just makes it even crazier. I was just used to the whole punching things and stuff. The fact that he could just spin around and just push them back is like, gosh. I know how to handle this. <laughs> I found a cheat! I found a cheat! I'm sorry, it's just that, that's the silliest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> uh, oh man. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I hope we fight a boss, because then I could just be like, Hey, let's test this and see how effective this is! Uh. I guess you don't know when to quit. Target identified as Kryptonium. Commence firing. Ouch. I detect a large number of reinforcements closing in. We must fall back. We cannot afford further delay. Are you okay, Superman? I'm fine, Maggie. Just a little dazed. Looks like Intergang destroyed any evidence before we arrived. They're more like Interbots than Intergang. They aren't human, but highly advanced robots, and they pack a serious punch. Interbots? Then what's going on? I don't know, Maggie. But I intend to find out. And now it gives me great pleasure like, to Like, Luthor, do you need Luthor any more proof of how nazi you look right there? Oh, flags and the symbol. If all authorized press and VIP admissions would make their way to the monorail. What is it, Doctor? Our project status, Mr. Luthor. I, I wanted to explain... Your incompetence? Uh, sir, with all respect, I... Your failure, then. Sir, analyzing the power source... Is almost impossible. These are sophisticated weapons. Fusion dynamics is a technology we know very little about. No longer your problem, Doctor. I've found someone who does. <laughs> Well, have all the answers, don't you? You took one heck of a blast, Superman. Energy weapon of some kind. But exactly what kind of energy? At a guess? Fusion. Is that possible? It's a little early for the 4th of July. <laughs> I don't know who makes themselves a quick getaway, Superman or Batman? <laughs> You predicted this was gonna happen, didn't ya? Something tells me we need to save civilians. Superman! Yep, we gotta Superman! save civilians. If you lead us to the medical center, Superman, we'll be safe there. I'll have to really That's a medical to center? Save everyone. Mother told me there'd be days like this. Things like this are supposed to happen to other people. Help me! <laughs> the Superman top has arrived! 
<laughs> oh gosh, I'll, I'll try to not use it as much, but daggum, is it not the funniest thing ever? Okay, so... I see the green flashes. Uh, ah, here we go. Oh wait, we need to... Oh, sorry. Okay, so Superman can come down and up as he pleases. Oh! Okay, I think I found an alternative to the whole R1, or not R1, but R2 button thing. And I have to say, I like it better. So, what I'm doing is that as I'm moving forward, I'm using the, uh, I believe the left analog stick to go up and down. Yes, it's a slower method, but it's a lot more controlled. And you don't have to hold it completely, but you can hold it until you finally in initiate the grab, and then you can move along with your normal uh, routine stuff. Thank you for being there we go. That's more like it. We're actually finally getting somewhere with this whole thing. It's taken us a while. Too bad Superman can't rescue, like, two or three at a time. I know that wouldn't be very Superman of him to do, but I mean, for crying out loud already, having to come in and save in one person at a time is a little tedious. Yes, we saved all the civilians. What the frick? Uh, something tells me we're gonna have to fix those uh, generators. Superman, you need to replace the three generators at the base of the dam in order to restore power. Without power, there's no way of operating the floodgates and the dam will burst. Spares are stored in warehouses to the west of the dam. Hurry, Superman! Okay, so how do we fix it? Would punching these things do anything? Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, wow! That gum, there's a lot of you. There we go. Fighting in the air is a little bit better now. Although Superman's health is not looking so good. Wait, what? They're still. They're still fighting? Okay, his HP actually restores over time, so that helps. Very small and minuscule, but hey, it's effective, I guess. What if I just did this? Oh, 
Oh gosh! Superman's down! <laughs> oh shoot! Oh. Please don't tell me I have to start the whole thing over. Just that one section. And now's a good time as any to figure that out, right? Oh gosh, please don't tell me I have to start the whole thing over. Oh gosh, that could be a problem if you have to start the whole thing over. I mean, the first part isn't hard, it's just that second one. Oh my gosh, there were so many freaking bullets. Okay, good. It does actually save that part, so that, that helps. That top thing is really effective. Obviously, I can't do it whenever I'm in the air, but it's effective on the ground. Uh-oh. Oop. Oh, wow. There's like an auto-dodge. I mean, look at that. He was able to deflect bullets just by doing that. I think we found a technique for Superman. Like, okay, as a test, watch this. See, it just deflects! Okay, so what's this for? Ah, the generators, okay. Alright, that takes care of that, so let's go ahead and get this generator up. I can get it there in time. Uh, I hope we do. Didn't realize we were on our time. One down. Now I gotta hurry up and get the other two fixed up. I hope that's not a timer down there, because we don't have that much time, sadly. Yep, game over. Oh gosh! It really wants you to know how bad you fail! <laughs> wow! <laughs> gosh! Way to hurt me any more than you already did! Okay, so now that we know that technically we could just probably ease. I, I hope that's the case, but we could probably just easily just go straight into the doors. Beat the guys up, get the generator, hurry up and get it to the frickin' pumps and stuff. Okay. I thought I had plenty of time. Apparently that was completely wrong. <laughs> that was completely wrong. But at least I know now that if the bullets are hurting me too badly, I could just use a power spin and then I'm invincible for however long I stay spinning. <laughs> Okay, this ought to do it. We've got plenty of time now. Or at least I hope we do. Finally! The entire valley could have been flooded. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Lois! That was close. And we gotta take it over there. Yep. Okay, easy Superman. There we go, that's a little better. Whew, being Superman is rough! Oh, 
Superman. You've got to get the pins back in at all costs. Wait, what are we, we supposed to, to do? Push the pins back and quickly. Oh, I see. To keep pushing. Almost there. Okay, one down. Whoa, come on. Easy, Superman. Easy. Must push harder. Gosh. Push. How am I going to get to that other one now? Uh, here we go again with the fail thing. Let me guess, it's going to show the dam being blown up. Yeah. Wow. This game is unforgiving what it is. Clark, push! Almost there! Mm. I'm really having to mash the X button for this one. Got to keep pushing! There we go! Got to keep pushing. You think I'm not trying? Almost. <sighs> God. Oh man. Oh gosh. That was a real test. That was a real test of my endurance. Oh gosh. All right. So. Superman Shadow of Apocalypse. What do I think of it? This is definitely better than Superman 64. It is one of those things where the controls, yes, can be iffy. But experiment with the controls a little bit, kind of figure it out and stuff like that, and you get a feel for it. You do start to get the feel for it. My only complaint are the time parts. Where literally it is best for you to get a job done within the allotted time. It is very unforgiving. That much I will say. I mean, yeah, one could argue and say that it could be done if I try to use the controls a little bit better. Like use the super speed mode thing a little bit better and stuff like that. Which is kind of iffy, you know. When you try to use it, it's kind of hard to control it in a way because you're going super fast. But with that being said, though, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like this one. I, I am. If if this was a Superman game that was like a blueprint for like a future Superman game, this is the way to do it. This is a way to kind of figure out, okay, here's what Superman is and should be in terms of gameplay. Now, how do we carry it on to the next generation? <laughs> I mean, they could easily do it. They could easily do it. It's just a matter of like, A, the right team. B, the right uh, programmers, and C, someone who truly wants to see a Superman game finally being made. Because the argument, we got a Batman, we got a Spider-Man, heck, we're getting freaking Wolverine in a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, we need another Superman game. I'm, I'm going to be with Doug on this one. We need another Superman game. Especially one like this. So, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. This is Black Cross signing off. Catch you guys later. Also, too, there has got to be an irony where I'm playing a DC game and I'm wearing a Marvel shirt. Like, this is one of those Marvel shirts where it has, like, Captain America on one end and then Iron Man on the other end. But yeah, it's like I'm wearing Marvel and I'm playing a DC game. Uh, that is definitely something weird.